What's going on guys, Blake Hawthorne, it's his turf. Tonight we're gonna figure out which style of hedge trimmer is best for you. Guys, welcome to Equipment Overload. In tonight's video, we're gonna be going over three different styles of hedge trimmers, so we can figure out which one is right for you. Okay, so the three styles that we're looking at are all gas-powered. Um, they are a handheld, a pole, and an extension trimmer. I know that there are combi systems and that there are electric versions of both of these, but what we are looking at is a fixed hedge trimmer that is solely a hedge trimmer that is gas-powered to have on your truck every single day. And so what we wanna look at is which of these three styles could be your one go-to hedge trimmer. Initially starting out, I used my handheld hedge trimmers. Now um, this was just something because it was easy to throw into the toolbox of the truck, grab it, go do some trimming, just a nice little handy set of hedge trimmers. The problem that you run into with this is whenever you start exceeding anything really up over like four feet, that's a decent sized shrub, it's hard to reach all of those places. So you're either one, working it from the front and the back and all the angles, or two, you're having to get a ladder to be able to reach up and to hit those spaces. The next set of hedge trimmers that you're gonna look at is going to be the pole style hedge trimmers. These are your short detachables if you do have a combi system. I have a steel version that is a fixed blade that allows me about two extra feet of reach. And what this allows me to be able to do is to not only trim smaller, tighter shrubs, but to be able to reach out onto some of these larger shrubs, even some of my six, eight foot shrubs with my reach and to be able to touch the top of these shrubs and to not have to have a ladder and to not have to have an extension trimmer. The last style that we're looking at is going to be the extension style hedge trimmers. These are going to be the time that have the longer extended bar that have the adjustable trimmer. This allows you to be able to really reach and grab these hedges or taller trees. And the one problem that I did find when running this style unit was that it was really difficult on smaller shrubs. I was having a difficult time to be able to really reach back to get close to me uh, doing those shrubs and it was a really big arm workout. The great thing about being able to use these smaller handhelds or even this smaller pole style is you're able to use more of your hips and a rocking motion when you're trimming so that you're not wearing your arms out. If you can keep your arms fixed in that position as you're trimming, then you're just gonna be able to save yourself and be able to get more work done before you wear yourself out. So guys, that's the biggest thing is which one of these styles is going to wear you out the least and allow you the most versatility on the most types of shrubs. For me, it is that middle style. It's not the handheld and it's not the large extension, but it is that pole style hedge trimmer that gives you about an extra foot and a half to two feet of trimming that you can keep on your truck, that you can do all of your nice, smaller, tight shrubs, all the way up to your larger trees and some of your hedges. The thing that I have found with having this style of hedge trimmer is that it allows me to be able to really tackle almost any job that the customer throws at me. By keeping a ladder on my truck, it allows me to still be able to trim some of those larger shrubs but if I know I'm gonna be doing those bigger hedges, I will bring my larger Echo set of hedge trimmers that have the adjustable blade, just because it makes that so much easier. There definitely is a time and place for that larger style hedge trimmer. For me, it's not in day-to-day -day operations. The handhelds are a great unit just to keep as a backup, but if I had to do over again, I think I would even buy an electric version of those hedge trimmers, just because it would be simpler and it would be easier to just grab them to go and trim and not have to worry about having gas or not having gas and to be able to do that. Me and Kevin with Fall River did a video on gas versus electric. That was my first time ever using an electric hedge trimmer. If you haven't seen that video, be sure and go over to his channel and check it out. It was a lot of fun, and I think that you'll kind of enjoy seeing the two of those go toe to toe. But for those of you guys just starting out or looking to buy your next hedge trimmer, you really need to think about all of these things before you make your purchase. The reason being is so you don't throw $300 at this style of hedge trimmer, then throw 400 at this style, and 600 at that style. You can figure out one that's gonna really kind of be a solve all for you. And in my recommendation, it is that middle of the road. Put you a ladder on your truck, have that style hedge trimmer, and to be able to tackle almost any job that a customer throws at you. I know some of you are gonna say that the combi system is kind of the best of everything. That is an expensive tool. Each of those attachments are expensive. They are cheaper than buying the individual units. But for running crews every single day, I have found that having a fixed hedge trimmer that is solely a hedge trimmer is the ideal best thing for us. 
So guys, best of luck in making your purchase. I would like to know in the comments down below what you use and what your go-to hedge trimmer is. Uh, be sure and check out last night's video where we touched on how to price trimming. And I hope that this will help you in figuring out what hedge trimmer you need. But guys, thank you so much. God bless. And we will see you next week here on Equipment Overload.